So I have looked at the sales, and it's not just Card Kingdom. Everyone is selling basically at a loss. Every game store is willing to take an L to the face just to get rid of not just regular Magic product, but any Magic product. And that obviously is very concerning, and it's steel product they want to get rid of. So every game store, from Fire and Forge to Card Kingdom, Card Kingdom being, I mean, all you need to know is Card Kingdom is doing it. They're, they probably fear one company in general, and that's Amazon. I have heard, you know, from sources I cannot disclose because I'm alpha investment. You know, I got to keep everything transparent, you know, uh, that Amazon's going to dump this product, Carvel Manor. And they are ready to unload a behemoth of this product onto the market, even though certain people believe it's a limited product. Uh, no, my dude, they have Clue on the product. I mean, how limited is a Clue product? I mean, have you seen how many... IPs Clue has like I was like Squishmallow Clue. There was actually a Squishmallow. No, there was a Naruto Clue. I saw the mall that was on sale. I almost bought it. It was like eighty percent off. It was Naruto Clue. What the hell? It wasn't even like Naruto, like like Boruto, like the new Naruto. It was like the old Naruto, and they just came out with it. It's, it's so funny. They are gonna kill this IP. Um, there's no doubt in my mind this is what's gonna happen because. At the end of the day, everyone's dumping it. So, like, these are not dumb people. These are smart people deciding, like, hey, we need to get out of this steel product right away. And you notice they're dumping cards that can be reprinted. Right? No one's dumping reserve lists. In fact, in this exact same money effing website, the uh, Underground C, or today, as of today, is $585, which is a new record high. To so the dual lands they want... Right? And then this shit, they wanted to, oh, does that sound like somebody else, you know, you may know on YouTube, charging a $15 Patreon? This is bloody messy, and it's only going to get messier. And me I'm going to tell you straight up why this is the case. Uh, many people won't tell you because they feel like, oh, hey, you know, it's better to keep you in the dark about this. Magic is not going in the right direction. If you look at the Hasbro earnings report and how much money they... They sold another billion dollars. This was the second year they sold a billion dollars of Magic. There isn't the player base to support a billion dollars of this product. There is not. They did it for two years in a row, and you look at the fatigue. They're not, it's not that there's more players buying product. There are less players, but they're buying more product. That's how they're making money, by making more products. Every... Every week, there's a new secret layer and a new secret layer, a new secret layer, and and every week it's uh, universe beyond, universe beyond. In fact, in their report, they said they want to drop two Lord of the Ring universe. There won't be Lord of the Ring. There'll be some other universe beyond. Two of them. We got Lord of the Rings. We have Fallout, which really thinks is a great investment, but no one can get their hands on, which is actually limited in my opinion. Things are going to shit, man. Things are going to shit. And and let me tell you exactly, exactly why this is the case. Um, there's no margins. If you are a game... So if you believe this game, just like Flesh and Blood believes this, and I, I cred, credit them on slapping Rudy on the hand when he tried to uh, undercut these hardworking local game stores, right? These local game stores hate him. He knows this. That's why they screenshot everything and send it to a Legend Studio and say, hey, look what we found, guys. And that's why they talk about shit. Like, I've been in these local game stores. They don't have a positive view from them because they're, he's basically undercutting them. There's many ways to undercut someone, right? Oh, I have a Patreon membership. Oh, I have uh, cheaper Brewster boxes. Oh, I have my own card and my own promo, my own playmat. There's many ways to undercover. And in business, that's not fair. I'm never going to want to compete against a business that has a advantage like that, which is favorism, preferential treatment, because you will never win. <laughs> you would, it, it does not you just hang up the business right there and then. There are companies like Pokemon who treat everyone equal. If you buy more, the price gets cheaper. It's equal. They have good profit margins. They sell well. 
Then there's companies like Wizards of the Coast. Bad profit margins, but they do treat stores relatively equal unless there's something that I don't know about these dumps. Then you have MetaZoo. MetaZoo is the most profitable thing for Rudy. I'm positive he makes more money from MetaZoo uh, than he has ever made from Magic the Gathering because of his profit margins. And that's it. It's about margins. This game is dead because no local game, just like MetaZoo. I said very early on that if you buy for 70, there's a dude undercutting you. Of course, the price will go below 70, you idiots. The dude's undercutting you. He's selling it for $40, $30 a box because that's he's getting it for five. Like, you know, it's, it's obvious what will happen to you, the local game store, when you're being undercut into oblivion. Like, look at Carl Roll Manor, right? Rudy's being undercut. It's that brutal. People are willing to take an L to the face just to get out of this product. Yet, this is a great product, a really investable investment quality grade. It's kind of like when you go to like a grocery store and it's like, you know, it's just like regular salmon and they try to say it's sashimi grade. That's what it feels like to me. Like everyone knows that that salmon is not, it's just like regular salmon. It's like frozen salmon. How can that be, you know, sashimi grade? It's like $9.99 at your local Kroger's. No, no one would think that salmon, everyone can tell. Everyone can tell. Um, at the end of the day, Taco Man's gonna he he Meta Zoo is out. Uh, Meta Zoo closing down is probably the the weirdest thing. I'll probably make a video on because it's really weird. Um, but it should be reported on because it's kind of interesting, right? Um, at least in my opinion. But local game stores they're they're not they're going to all drop Magic. They they have no choice. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to tell you, there is no choice. They have no choice. They must drop Magic because they're actually losing money selling this item. No joke. They are losing money selling this item. And it's almost unbelievable. But how long can you do that for? One set, two set, three. Like, how long do you have to lose? And everyone knows it. Everyone knows Carlo Manor is, minus Rudy and his patrons, is a set. That is like Baldur's Gate. It's like uh, Dungeons and Dragons. I mean, my God, maybe he has the same artwork you know, from that long time ago. Wizards is not going to get, like, if your company, if the idea is, oh, hey, they're going to get back together and they're going to rally and things will be good. Well, then why did they lay off so many people? I'm not as fan. Maybe some of the people being laid off needed to be laid off, but typically that doesn't imply that your company stock is down the, the report is very bad i mean there's 100 percent reliant on magic players now but there's no more magic there's not as many ma mtg arenas basically fail right so if there's not that many magic players and let's be honest how much money can you milk them for because they're not the wealthy magic players are all gone as rudy said the whales are gone he doesn't see any way of buying dual lands. He doesn't know why they're up. No one knows why they're up. Mine's Car Kingdom. I think that the... If my game is dying, I want to buy the best cards. Not because I think they will go up in price, but because I just want to have them before the game dies. I've seen it happen in the two other games I play. Where actually the price... And it actually is happening in Meta Zoo right now as we speak. The price of the cards actually go up. Liquidity goes up right before it goes to zero because then no one sells.